That's me, little Kayla, light, bright. I hold many titles, but one that's very dear to my heart is being called a sister, and another one is being called a daughter. Me and my sisters wanted for nothing, had a wonderful childhood, got everything our little hearts could desire, but you know, sometimes that's just not enough. I've always felt like I was adopted or maybe something just wasn't adding up. We always got asked, are you guys really sisters? Y'all look nothing alike. So now's the time to share my story with all you nosy people. <laughs> and I hope you guys really enjoy and maybe someone can relate to my story. Here we go. Hopefully they will answer. Hi. How are you doing? Okay, so this is my older sister, Sarita. Say hello to the KZ fam. Hi. Ooh. Are you going somewhere? Yeah. In the process of deciding what I'm wearing. Mmm. Well, it's really hot outside, so less is better. This is Sierra. Say hi. Hi. What are you doing here? Chilling. Chilling, helping her with her outfit. Yeah, this might be a box. I don't know. Especially Are you gonna wear it with the Reeboks? No, I think I'll probably. Just you could actually get more, away with it uh, with those sandals. Yeah, it's the beach, so. Yeah, you would probably want to wear the sandals. It's gonna be water. Oh. So, I have a question. Did you guys ever think I was adopted? Well, Shut up, for real. I just thought you were a little different. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Like growing yeah. up? Because you didn't, you weren't, you oh, weren't sorry. me and Sarita's um, complexion. But so, African Americans can produce eight shades of olive. Well, yeah, so I kind of so, thought it played off of yeah, I thought Aunt Rhonda, I like, Uncle Gucci kind of yeah. thing. I thought it was like, you know how. But what is Aunt Rhonda and Uncle Gucci like? They're very. High yellow. yellow, yeah. So I thought it was like a skip generation kind of thing. Oh, skip generation, yeah. Cause, but look at me in Zion. Yeah, like y'all are light, but I feel like his eye color and stuff like that. So when I was going through all of mommy's files when I was younger, cause I was trying to investigate, did you guys think I was like going crazy? At first, I, I thought did. you were. Crazy. At first, I was like, you just want something to be wrong with you so you can be famous and. Have your E True Hollywood story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you used to be obsessed with E True Hollywood story. What? That's my life. Have you thought that you just wanted something to be utterly wrong with you? I didn't take into consideration that something could be. I remember one time, um, it was, it's your godmom, this Lisa. She was doing Sarita's hair, and I think mommy just permed her hair at one point. And everyone was putting ponytails in, and I wanted a ponytail, but my hair was too curly. And Lisa put my hair in a ponytail, and she was like, baby, you just don't have hair like everyone else. <laughs> and I was like, what? What do you mean? Like, my sister wear ponytails all the time. Yeah. She was like, no, you you have curly hair. And then when mommy permed my hair, I was just like, okay, I, I look more like you guys. Like, my hair's just not different. Yeah. And now, look at me. We all got different. Yeah, different textures <laughs> of hair. Yeah. Different textures. We're her ice cream babies. Yeah. Chocolate, caramel, and vanilla. So who do you think looks more like who? Do you think I look like mommy at all? You look like a light skin You look version. like a light skin version of, her. of mommy. Yeah. That's what I always thought. Yeah. Anyway, that you were a light skin version. So yeah. So ever since I was a little girl, I've always felt like an outcast. I felt very like, I, I thought I was adopted. Let's just be real. I started doing like mad research. Like why is my mom and my sister darker than me my dad used to say you know um his mother was very light like there was light skin on his side of the family i just felt very out of place yeah, mm -hmm. so how did you feel when ever when the story was that 
um, you know, daddy's mom was very light skin like, and yeah. like well because I didn't know her. I already had envisioned from my imagination because that I looked stories. just like her. That you yeah. look like daddy's mom? Uh -huh. Like I only oh. seen black and whites of her. Yeah. I've never seen But Daddy said color. that she was like super um what do you call it? Super light bright. But She's we like, have a lot of light bright on daddy's side too. Yeah, we do. And when I say daddy, I mean Dan. Dan. He raised me yeah. and yeah, he's mm -hmm. my dad. <laughs> but he's really but he's my really dad. He's all our it. all of our dad. Logically, he's only your dad, dad. but he's the, but he's I all we like ever knew cuz he was feeding me. Yeah. So, yeah, that's you what did. he said. He told me that you know, before I was thought of that, like when he used to take you places, that a lot There's of people no would be question. like, "She looks just like you." Because <laughs> like, it's honestly because he fed me spiritually, mentally, my belly. So I just thought I didn't feed. That's what Same yeah. for me though. You know, I mean, I know I don't look like Daddy. Stop it. Okay. <laughs> I was like, Where is she going with this one? Because but I'm saying like. He's all I've ever known, yeah. and I had such a great childhood. But when mommy, when mommy first told me that daddy was not my biological dad, y'all weren't shocked. So I used to do like research, trying to figure stuff out. Fast forward to eighth grade, my mom told me um, that my dad that raised me is may not be my biological father so you know i didn't have like a big crying session i sort of kind of deep down knew well because you told her i mean i did but then but the story well okay so how it went so, yeah we're s you're, you guys are lost so yeah i've always told mom I, I think i'm adopted she's like no you're crazy you're not adopted but then she always would say you know you look like a certain person mm -hmm. and i'll be like oh, okay but I, you know, let it in a back burner. Yeah. And then one day when I was in, I think it was eighth grade, she was like, Kayla, I have something to tell you. And then she told me and I was like, well, I already knew. Yeah. But she was like really crying, super sad about well, it. Because how I remember it, we were sitting at the table and you're going on and on about being adopted. <laughs> and then out of nowhere, this emotion sprung. And we was like, okay, this is a joke now. Okay, well, you made mommy feel sad because this is not, it's not funny anymore. No. And she just. Was I like, feel like I think y'all like went in the car to talk. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we I, did. We were I remember at the that. Table, and then Kayla has to get. I don't remember sitting at the table. It was like a super emo moment, and it makes me wonder how many times she felt like she was about to cry when you would joke about it. Yeah. Because you did it so much. But that's why when she they, told me, I wasn't like, I wouldn't. And they, we, we used to joke and say that she looked like um, Prince. Prince. Yeah. That you were oh, Prince. Oh, you either Prince or you're the milkman's baby. <laughs> Which everybody called you the milkman's baby. Even so. Uncle Moochie. Yeah, I felt like I coined the term from everybody else. Because, yeah. but you were definitely Prince's child. Which I still feel like could be a thing. Oh, shut up. Yeah, you do. All right, you guys are doing the most. But <laughs> when mommy first told me, I think she wanted me to react in a way where I just bawled out crying. But because deep down, I felt like an outcast. Like, um, so fast forward to when I was 18. This is when MySpace first came out or whatever. I still, you know, wanted to you know find out what he looked like my mom would give me like little details of him here and there that like he had freckles and he was light-skinned and I was just like oh, okay you know it's cool I had like a, a vision of what he looked like but not really she was like you guys look alike I was like okay um so when MySpace came out um my mom looked up his name and found him on MySpace. And she messaged him, sent him a picture of me, and he was like, wow, that is my daughter. I'm so weak. All right, so do you guys remember how I first found my um, biological dad? Yes, MySpace. I was there when mommy found him <laughs> on MySpace, actually. Really, was I there? No. Oh, so she was just doing this behind my back. 
Because she kept searching. It was almost like she was trying to get in touch with like Unsolved Mysteries because that was a big thing for Dateline or maybe Dateline. Oh yeah, Unsolved Mysteries. But she wanted to get on Unsolved Mysteries first. But I think MySpace kind of like was our social media at the time. Like yeah. yeah, that was like big, Everybody super big. You can find everyone. Found, she found him on MySpace. MySpace. Yeah. Yep, and then. I don't remember what his page looked like. I don't remember. I remember his. I remember when I seen his picture, I said that he looked like Sinbad. Not to say we all don't look the same, but we all do. Like we all have something of my mom and something of our dad. I definitely got my dad's skin complexion. And I'm like a light skinned version of my mom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he I does. Said that. And it was still a lot for me to process because I had to take out the ideas that I had of what he looked like. Yeah, and then put them on this guy. Mm -hmm. And I'm now a, what, a spitting image of yeah. this guy. Yeah, you, like, you guys, you yeah, you look, look like more like guy. him, but then you still look like mommy. Mommy. It's yeah. His damn nose. Yeah. His nose and then the thick ass mm -hmm. eyebrows. Okay, you, you can. And then your eyes are I don't have, by the way, I don't have an Adam's apple. But, Rita, you're a hater, bro. <laughs> Anyways, let her shower. Okay. So, being that you are, you know, I mean, I hate to say it, but you are the only one that really had both parents around, both parents. I mean, you don't remember them raising you because yeah, they broke up, they but I'm saying, but you know both sides of your DNA. Yeah. You know, I found him, super excited. I met him one time. I found him when I was 18, I'm now 29. I met him one time, we FaceTime here and there. But um, me still trying to figure out who I am, I know half of my, my DNA. I don't know the other half, really. Of course, all the bad traits my mom tells me I have of his. But um, I still wish I knew that part of me. Yeah. Does it make you feel any different than me and Sarita? Like, do you not feel relatable? Um, one thing I, I am kind of jealous of is that y'all have other siblings. We're not enough? I mean, y'all are, but I wish I had, like, brothers. I guess we're not enough for Sierra because she said she's jealous that siblings. we have siblings. I mean, I have other siblings, but I only, like, I love them, but I only know y'all. So I have to remind myself when people ask me, like, how many siblings do you have? Are you the youngest? I always get asked am I the youngest. Uh -huh. And I'm like, well, I'm the oldest on my mom's side and I'm in the middle of my dad's. But it's not a comfortable conversation. So um, be glad that you don't have it. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's true. Yeah, but every it's time I get asked, like, I hate when I show questions. pictures of you guys, like, oh, you have, you're the youngest of, of three? And I'm like, yeah, I got two older sisters. And then I show y'all a picture, they'll be like, Oh, yeah. So, do y'all all have the same dad? I actually used to lie and say yes because I was. It was just a situation we didn't talk about. Yeah, it's just uncomfortable because I'm just like, well, in my mind, yes, we do. Well, we yeah. all have the we same dad. Yeah, we have the same dad. We don't have the same fathers, but yeah. we got the same guy. That's dad. right. Wait, hold up. We don't. We have different daddies, but we have the same father because they say Father's Day. So yes, Darren yeah. you're right. Father. Yeah, all Darren day. Hall is the dad yeah so that he's was, the that's one the only thing that would be weird because like and when i would say yeah they'd be like well y'all don't look like and i would be like well you know my mom has a light-skinned sister yeah no <laughs> that's true because i would always bring up at ronda yes yeah, so i would just kind of like base it off that but i mean it's cool i guess <laughs> yeah because when you did when i first met my other side of the family you were so welcoming like those are your brothers yeah, too. Yeah, I consider I consider them my brothers too. And same as Sarita's yeah. people, yeah. Yeah. So we're all it's, one big happy family. Yeah, it's one big melting pot. And our childhood was nothing short of amazing. Like we yeah, had I I don't remember ever having like a bad child bad childhood. No. Ever. My favorite part of my childhood was when we would go on road trips with daddy. Yeah. Those would always be really we would and, literally go from different states all summer long that's true so that would be my favorite part and i praise daddy because he never made me feel any different if you ask him i don't have no other side it's that, just him it's the same with rita same with rita yeah. yeah so you know i just wanted to interview you guys and yeah. give you guys let you guys get a scoop on your end yeah um you sorry we had to take a brief picture. commercial break you do? yeah <laughs> So we're done with this video shit.
Stop cussing. No, I can't. I know we're saying. done with the bleep. Let me say it. And say it. And I'll leave it out. Bleep. All right. Ready? And go. Done with it. <laughs> if you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. Comment down below. That's below. Uh, no, shut up. <laughs> Comment down below. <laughs> and we'll be back with more videos. No, not will. Well, because I'm pranking your ass. I'm going to get you. Y'all going to see her get this. I'm going to get Oh, wait. Go ahead. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Shut up. Because I'm going to try it. Oh, okay. All right.